Today, you, me, and Chantal Chantal are going to be burgling some Sims. As you can yes. see, she is very, very excited. We're starting off with zero simoleons. We're going to see how much we can make. Now, this mod does not require full rent, but there's like a special updated version for full rent. You guys know with the Sims for full rent, you can break into houses. But with this mod, it makes it so not everybody can do it. And in order to do it, you need the burglar reward trait. So I am just cheating just to give her the burglar trait so we can show you guys but it's only 1000 points so this makes it so the only way you can actually break into a house with full rent is with this now if you don't own full rent you can still use a burglar mod guys i'm so excited another thing i would like to say is all of the default ea based game builds are very bare and empty so the mod themselves they recommend that you actually download lots off the gallery which i've downloaded a few here and in some other areas i downloaded some random sims off the gallery like um cute guy henry <laughs> And cute family. It seems like we've downloaded some alpha looking sims today to visit and we're going to break into their homes after we've gone through about five loading screens. Also, they've turned breaking it in now as a brand new skill. Now, it's a minor skill, not a major skill burglary. So it only goes up to level five, but I still think it's pretty cool. There we go. We've acquired the burglary skill. Chantal has learned how to pick locks and is now able to sneak into any residence to swipe some stuff. You know, in the Sims 4 base game, by the way, there is a kleptomania maniac trait but it's it's if you've ever tried it it's very very crap it doesn't work very well so obviously we can still do all of the standard snooping interactions and things like you can do with for rent based game though what can we steal oh we can attempt to swipe this little laptop let's go Chantel. we don't have the kleptomaniac trait by the way but oh look at that we just swiped it isn't that lovely <laughs> oh look we can even get the microwave that's pretty funny we can literally i wonder how she's fitting all of this in her pocket <laughs> i should have added some bicycles and it would have been a proper UK simulator. I'm not too sure exactly like what we can steal. I thought we'd be able to steal decorative objects but it seems like we can't. It seems like we can only get like computers and things. Oh no look we can get this vase. Maybe it just depends until like we can get that vase but we can't get like this floor one. We can't get these decorations. Can we get this TV over here? Can't get this. See I don't know if it's like specific to certain objects what we can and can't get. So I'm not 100% sure like how it's supposed to work but we can click around and see what we can steal i mean to be fair we have already got quite a lot so i think if we go home now and we see how much money we've made i'm assuming it appears in our household it's not in our household inventory oh there we go so i guess you're going to only maybe swipe things that you can pop in your main inventory so we can sell these for a total of 3080 that's quite nice that's a nice bit of money to start off with so with that being being said, I would like to do some more stealing. Yes, I would. That was rather fun. Do you guys want to know something funny as well? If you have the base mental drugs mod, apparently you can steal you know what, which I think is actually quite funny. I really do miss burglars in The Sims 4. Like when they announced snooping with The Sims 4 for rent and like breaking and entering, I genuinely thought this is what we'd be able to do. And I'm so disappointed that it's not. I feel like the snooping for secrets thing was a little bit dumb. I'm going to be honest, but this feels a lot more fun and interesting. So if you've broken in Chantel, I think we did a bad job. Okay, let's try again. Are we going to get in? Oh no, it's still closed. She's got a mullet. That was tense. The door is still closed. You sure made a lot of noise clumsily poking around the lock like this. Apparently you can get arrested as well with this mod, which I think is quite funny. I kind of wanted to get arrested. Oh no, success lock busted. Door open. That's good. Oh, I love how we can um, swipe these really, really beautiful pictures on the wall. That's so mean. <laughs> They're not even worth any money. It just sounds like fun. So again, I'm assuming we can only swipe things. There we go. Like we can get the pet bed. So it seems we can only get things that you can pop into your inventory. It would be nice in the future if there was like a version of the mod where you'd be able to swipe like bigger objects and then just put them into your main household inventory. Although we are only burglary level two. Maybe they could integrate it. So like the higher your level, the more things you can see. Also, I'd like to be able to steal things from chests if that would be an option for the mod in the future. Oh, look, we can even get like the wash bin from the kid's bedroom. <laughs> 
You can basically get, okay, anything that you can pop in your household inventory, you can swipe it. So, oh look, we can even get this little fire pit. That's interesting. Oh, oh my God, we got, we got that. We didn't just get the fire pit. We've got the chairs as well, apparently. <laughs> Who would have thought uh, fire pits could go in your household inventory? I had no idea. Oh, and we've got the fabricated couches popped in our household inventory. That's rather interesting. Oh no, we've been caught. <laughs> oh no, we've been caught breaking in. Oh no, I didn't realize the timer ran out. Well, there we go. Oh, Chantal saying she dislikes homebody sims. I think so, apparently. She doesn't like people when they're at their homes. Oh my God, they won't, they won't stop fighting each other. <laughs> They literally, oh my God, they won't stop fighting. I wonder if we can steal with the Sims at home. Like, can, like, can we do it? Oh my God, we literally can. And like, because they're not in the room, they, they can't see anything. Because Sims for Townie AI is so dumb. I don't think they're going to notice. Thank you very much, Sims for Townie AI. Oh no, she caught me doing that. Oopsie. Oh my God, are we running? Oh my God, she's clipping. She, oh, <laughs> She's clipping through the dresser. Oh no, she's running away. Oh my god, that's so funny. Are we oh my god, she's literally she's literally run out. <laughs> well, I'm glad we made it out alive. How much money are we making from all this? 830 simoleons. That is not bad. Oh, and we also got the two sofas. Oh, apparently they're not in our household inventory. They're glitched. So they're not in. I feel like that was a glitch with the fire pit, but that's fine. That was quite fun, wasn't it? And now we've got an energized moot because we're exhilarated. So with that being said, I want to do some more break-ins. I want to get to level five of our skill. This time, I think we should go into Chestnut Ridge. I just added, like, maybe we should go into, I feel like the later builds, like early on Sims 4 builds, they're very, very bad in like the base game and the earlier packs, but the later packs are not so bad. So hopefully there are some interesting things here we can steal. Isn't it just so like definitely not immersion breaking when every single Sim and animal spawns in a very symmetrical grid like pattern outside and then one of them magically vanishes. Not immersion breaking at all. Anyways, let's do a little break in. And also, I mean, we don't even actually need to break in. Like, we can just get this fireplace outside. Like, they're not gonna know. Oh my god, we can even steal the picnic bench. Oh my god. <laughs> Is if we can steal a picnic bench. I don't know how that's going to work. Is if that's in our household inventory. Since when could you put benches in your inventory? Anyway, we're having we're having another little break in. This is so cute. I love it. So we can't seem to steal the coffee machine though. I would have felt like that's something that you could do. We can take the microwave. I don't know like if it's, I feel like it's not, I don't know if it's to do with the mod or to do with the way the game's coded, but I would like to be able to steal a lot of other kinds of things. Well, we're not going to steal the dollhouse, but what we are going going to do is smash this dollhouse just for a little bit of fun. <laughs> We're going to ruin this child's day. Oh my God, this is so mean of you, Chantel. Oh look, we've got a couple of musical instruments that we can swipe as well. I will take those. Thank you very much. That sounds like fun. You can get this little speaker over here. Thank you very much. Oh look, we can even get this thing on the wall. See, it's very temperamental. Like what can you and can't you steal? I'm not sure exactly how it works. Like there we go. We can get this painting on the wall. Although I don't know if that's going to be worth very much money. Another painting on the wall. Thank you very much. I will have that. I wonder if there's anything in I was gonna say I wonder if there's anything in the barn I don't think we can steal oh no we can steal the the bed <laughs> Oh my God, as if we can steal the horse bed. Oh my God, that's so funny. Let's take some horse beds. Love that for us. And then, oh my God, it seems like the break-in event has ended. Is I feel like this is the house owner. Um. Oh no, we, we've been caught. Oh dear. We've been caught again. We haven't been arrested by the police though. So we better quickly run home before we do get caught by the police. Although I kind of want to see us do get caught and just like see what happens. So it seems like we're making 2,670 from all this. I feel like it's quite a legitimate way to make money although I would personally like it to be a little bit more risky I also think like if you get caught you should be fined or something so you lose a lot of like the money that you've stolen now another place that we can go to is celebrity mansions and apparently these are going to be harder to break into I've downloaded an updated version of Judith Ward's house on the gallery very nice version of the house on the gallery I'm excited to break into it although as with a lot of these like absolutely humongous builds I have no idea where the front door is. Although, okay, there we go. Now we can actually break in through the main top door. This is exciting, breaking into a celebrity mansion. We're not really dressed for the occasion though. Oh, we busted the lock. I feel like that was too easy. So Judith thought, oh, we'll get these flowers right at the front here. Oh my God, there's so, there's so much we can take in your mansion, Judith Ward. This is very, very exciting. Oh my God, I don't know where to start. There's so much stuff. We're also swiping a lot of flowers. Oh look, we're level four of the burglary skill as well. Chantal has increased the burglary 
burglary skiller now has a higher chance of picking locks successfully and quietly. So that's always good. Oh, look at this painting. This has to be worth a lot of money. Oh, look, we can get, oh my God, we can get the little stereo thing as well. That's quite cute, isn't it? Oh my God, there's so much we're taking just out of this one room. Oh my God, loving this. All the paintings, yes, please. Now there's also a secret basement here. Now we're gonna have to try and break into this, which is very, very interesting. Hopefully we won't get caught. This might take us a very long time. We don't have much time left with the breaking and entering event. I think she failed. Oh my God, she failed. That didn't go as planned. So we've got a, a tense moot lit and we've got to hope the owner didn't call the police. Although it seems like she's just fighting us rather than calling the police. I love how they're autonomously just having a random chat now. <laughs> <laughs> They're just having a friendly chat. This is honestly Sims 4 Towny AI is, is so funny. I absolutely love it. I mean, she's leaving the room. Okay, I mean, like if she leaves the look, she's just on her computer like it's nothing. Like Sims 4 Towny AI is so funny. So we may as well continue breaking in while she's in the other room. I mean, she's not gonna notice. And we've already just broken in. I'm already seeing this dinosaur thing right here. We will take that, thank you very much. This money bag, yes, please. We can attempt to swipe this one, although it's got lasers around it. That's rather interesting. And of course. Of course, we've got the money vault, which is going to be tough to break into. Judith Ward is just playing on a PC like it's nothing. She has absolutely no idea. She's on MySpace, I think. So while she's busy on MySpace, we're breaking into her vault. We got in. Oh no, I, th I, th I think we've been poisoned by some smog. Have we been? Oh no, I th oh no. <laughs> It's gone, it's gone to shit. It's gone to shit. She's passed out on the floor. Not that Judith Ward is bothered. She's going upstairs. She's probably got too much money to care. We try again, shall we? Are we, oh, oh no, oh no. We've passed out again. At least I tried. Well, we get some paintings off the wall for now. Oh look, we can swipe things from this little box. Oh my God, we can swipe all of her awards. That's really fun, isn't it? We're taking every single one of these different things. Oh my God, and we've got the frogs. These frogs are gonna be a lot of money. So Chantal's about to pass out because because she's so tired, so we better leave right now. But I feel like, okay, this mod needs to be a lot harder. Oh, Chantal, you're passed out again. Stop it, Chantal, go home, we need to go home. Well, as I was saying, we've got to level five of the burglary skill very easily. I personally think that progression for the burglary skill should be a lot slower. I also think the chances of getting caught need to be much higher and there need to be severe repercussions. So we're making 22,000, although not everything we stole has has appeared. Oh no, my miss. Oh my God, it's literally all in our household inventory. Oh my gosh. We've got so much stuff. Oh my God, I didn't even see all this in here. Well, obviously we're selling all of it, including Judith Ward's awards, which will be fun. So now we've got 55,000 Smolians in total. That feels a little bit too OP. <laughs> but of course that's not enough. And with that being said, we are going into the land grab household. And yes, I refurbished their house. When I say I refurbished it, what I mean is I stole one off the gallery. So, oh look, Chantal's changed her outfit. That's so cute. She's in a cute little summer outfit as she's stealing. Love that for you, Chantal. You're looking very, very white trash. So there seems to be a lot in here. I wonder what we can steal. There's still this little lion. Is it a lion? Is it a ferret? Maybe it's a cross between two. Oh look, we can get this statue as well. Can we get this coat of I want to steal everything. Oh look, we can get the TV as well. Thank you very much. Love all this stuff that we can steal from the house. And yes, I'm literally just taking <laughs> anything I can clear on. Anything the game is going to let me steal, we're stealing it. Oh look, we can even get this coat of arms. I bet that will sell for a lot of money. And of course the paintings. I feel like the paintings are going to be the really big ones that we should be stealing because we could probably get a lot for those. I feel like that. Oh no, we've been caught again. I was just going to steal some more. I was going to say, I feel like there needs to be a much higher chance of you being arrested because the chance of being arrested seems to be very, very low because I had like, we've been caught many, many times and they fought with us. Like what, what if I just steal? Or in front of him. Like if I just blatantly, in the <laughs> Like if I just blatantly steal right in front of the household. Although we've got, what are we, what are we loading in? What are we doing? What are we loading into? Oh no, I feel like, okay. I feel like Chantal run away. Yeah, I kind of want there to be a high chance of being burgled. I would also like to do round two of Judith Ward's house because I would like to break into her vault because I intentionally put a lot of money in there. So it seems only right. Another thing they did by the way with this mod. So you know, actually any Sim can actually steal from a money vault. But with this mod, it makes it so only Sim Terms of the burglar trait can steal from the money vault, which I think makes a lot more sense if you ask me. So we're going back straight down into here. I love how it's still unlocked. <laughs> so time to break in and then, oh, oh no, oh no, we're getting caught again. <laughs> 
<laughs> For Christ's sake, Chantel, stop falling asleep. I mean, come on, we're like burglary level five now. I feel like it, it's about time, like we've got to be able to break in. Oh, look, we did. And we can steal, should we play with the money first? That sounds like fun. Is she, oh my God, is she pretending the money is a phone? <laughs> Isn't that fun? Look at you, Chantel, Chantel, getting excited. Should we take a little nap in the money? Oh, that sounds like fun as well. Love that for you. Anyway, we better steal all the money from the vault. There's 50,000 in here. So we'll steal every single penny. Yes, we will. And now that's all ours. We may as well steal some other things whilst we're here because we're very, very greedy. Love your little cinema room though, Judith Ward. It's definitely so much better like downloading houses from the gallery instead instead of just using the default EA ones. There's literally like so much we can take. We can even take the DJ booth. <laughs> I can't believe we just stole a DJ booth. Can't believe we're stealing a lot of these things. I'm sure there'll be some nice things in the garden that we can steal as well. Add to our little collection of things. This is always really, really good. We're still some sunbathing towels. I'm pretty sure if somebody broke into a celebrity mansion and stole their beach towels, like somebody would buy it on the black market. Like it doesn't feel unrealistic. Although swiping like a big sculpture like this is very unrealistic. It's a Sims though, so I cannot complain. In this game, we're taking everything we can, including pink flamingos. I feel like Judith Ward might have come back home, but like she's just so done with it. She's done with the bullshit. I genuinely don't think she cares. Is she home? The break and entering event has actually finished, but she's not home. Oh no, here she is. Hello, madam. She's in a little bit like, I want to steal something in front of her because I really just want to get arrested. <laughs> I want to see what happens if you get arrested. Oh no, Judith Ward, don't leave. Oh no, Judith Ward, she's going somewhere else now. I've lost her. Oh my God, madam, where did you go? I can't find you anywhere. Not that she gave a fuck anyway. Now it seems we're autonomously going to play ping pong with Judith Ward, which is literally hilarious. Like we're, we're playing ping pong with her whilst we're just swiping things from our house and like she just doesn't care. <laughs> Oh no, now she finally cares. Now she's noticed. Apparently that last painting was enough. Now Chantal is out of here. She's running away. I really desperately want to get caught stealing. We're just breaking into the Caliente household. Like I really, really want to get caught. I mean, the homeowners come back. Like I don't know. Like I really want to get caught so bad. Oh my God. Seems like the police aren't coming. I'm just trying to go into like tons of random houses and just see what we can do. I haven't actually thought about our reputation in the game. What is our... Oh look, we've got an atrocious reputation because <laughs> we keep getting caught. How lovely. So guys, I really like this mod. This is so much fun. It's called the Be a Burglar mod by Need Coffee for that. And it's free and you don't need for rent, but you can get it to be compatible with for rent. The only thing I would like is for burglary to be significantly more risky. I mean, we've made 172,000 simoleons. That was very easy. I personally want it to be a lot more risky. And to have really negative consequences. But other than that, I think it's really, really fun. The creator of this mod also did a daycare mod, which again was really, really fun. So I'll link that in the next video, which I definitely think you should watch because it's another amazing career mod. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.